Hi everyone, I am doing a series on intentional living based on my experience as a teenager from 1975 until probably now <laughs> growing up on a commune called The Farm and many things that you may even have heard of those of you that are interested in intentional living um, documentaries called like American Commune which was done concerning this particular commune called The Farm and also Ina Mae Gaskin, who is what they call the Mother Teresa of Midwifery and her book, Spiritual Midwifery, um, all about having babies at home and how it's a natural motherly thing to do, etc. All these things came from the Farm Commune, which um, our teacher was Stephen Gaskin. And there's a story behind that. And there's a story behind me growing up there. And I want to start off by letting you know a little bit about that. So this is about sustainable living and how I got there and my experience of it in video form. And hopefully one day I'll write a book about this because it's really kind of an interesting story. Um, first off, for those of you that are watching this as, you know, wanting to know about intentional living, this is a very good model. Um, it's been studied that it is the number one intentional commune that has got anything feasible to say for itself since... Um, 1971 but you see this commune started in the late 60s and that's what I want to talk about today is the story about how the farm got started real quick so anyway Stephen Gaskin he was a teacher at the University of Berkeley teaching an English class and I do believe it was in 1967 or I know in the late 60s and um what ended up happening was the students were asking him questions because this time we were in Vietnam, middle of the 60s, you know, in Berkeley, uh, a lot going on. And most of all, what was going on was psychedelics. So here we have a man, Stephen Gaskin, who is your English professor at the University of Berkeley with a bunch of people coming in, you know, college age, around their early, mid-20s, that are not in Vietnam, but very concerned about Vietnam and concerned about the whole planet at this point. And they're also hippies. And they're also, you know, tripping on acid, good acid, not the bad kind, not the kind you got when you got older in the 70s. No, real pure acid um, and mushrooms, psychedelics, and literally having a spiritual experience um, like the Indians did, as well as man, the people that go down and do the ayahuasca ceremony. It's very similar. Anyway, um, the hippie generation started off from psychedelics, and these were pure psychedelics. So anyway, the kids in his class and himself began to take acid together. And Stephen was coming up with all these intense, like, ideas about how we needed to, you know, help the planet and how we needed to, you know, get out of war and um, how we need to have a philosophy to live by. And that if you have a philosophy to live by that includes your family, that includes your people, that includes your children, and includes, you know, everyone that pretty much, you know, you've helped out humankind and yourself at the same time. And so what ended up happening was after they they got together, it was called Monday Night Class. It's a book you can actually look into. Perhaps even find it in video form on YouTube. But that's how the Farm Commune was started in Berkeley. And um, at that point in time, I was probably seven to nine years old. So my story will come next about, you know, what helped me to seek out this particular experience. Because what ended up happening was that all these churches around the United States were asking the people that had gotten together in Stephen's, you know, class, which began to be humongous, to bring the band that they had put together and you know, let Stephen talk to the masses throughout the United States. And so literally, the next book that was written was called The Caravan for everybody that was in that class. And I'm sure it got up into the 400, 500 people got all their buses together and caravaned the United States of America in the late 60s, following Stephen and his teachings around. And this was the time that he met Ina May, and um, a lot of things started to go down as far as how the farm was developed. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that first part of the story. And that was part one. And it's called um, The Farm Commune, My Experience Growing Up on the American Commune. Peace.